right. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to our Bird Views weekly workshop. Our weekly workshops uh, takes place every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 a.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time, where we cover a different topic each week. You can register for our weekly workshops and other events through our website by clicking uh, events tab on the website. You can also use the link displayed on the screen uh, where, so we post a list of all of our topics in advance. Uh, so you do have the option to sign up for multiple sessions at once. Uh, just a quick note uh, that our webinar for September uh, is on hold. Um, so we will be resuming our weekly workshops again in October. I do encourage you to join as many uh, sessions as possible, whether it is as a refresher or to learn tips and tricks on how to make the most of WordView for your project management needs. Uh, with each session, we start with a demo on the topic that we are covering. And then towards the end, we use uh, the last bit of uh, 10 minutes to go over any questions that you may have. So uh, in the meantime, please feel free to send in your questions in the Q&A chat box and we can address them um, at the end of the session. So in our session today, uh, we are covering BirdView's new native integration uh, with Jira and QuickBooks. We will cover the prerequisites of, um, sorry, uh, we, will, we will cover the prerequisites on uh, how, on the integration, how to connect with Jira and BirdView, um, importing projects and time entries into, sorry, importing projects from Jira into BirdView and exporting uh, time entries uh, from BirdView to QuickBooks. Uh, and then again, um, towards the end, we'll go over some of the questions and finally we will cover the upcoming webinar. So the very first thing when connecting with QuickBooks and Jira is that uh, you have an active account on both Jira and QuickBooks with the same credentials as you have in BirdView. So your emails and credentials should match both um, on BirdView as well as the QuickBooks and Jira. In order to access integrations, you also need to have administration uh, administrator permissions. Otherwise, you will not be able to access uh, the integrations tab. So where do you find um, integrations? So uh, just a quick demo here. Uh, you open up your BoardView instance, you click on the success or your organization's uh, team, click on company settings. In company settings, you can go into integrations in the left pane here. And then select manage apps. So in manage apps, you will be able to see Jira and QuickBooks as an option to be able to connect. So what are the steps to uh, connect Jira? Let's talk about that first. So the very first thing is uh, you're going to click on um, the connect option here for Jira. It will take you to the uh, Atlassian uh, marketplace. This is where you can um, access the BirdView um, app to connect Jira and BirdView together. So click on get, get it now button here. Once you click that, you will be taken to a new screen. Here you can do a drop down and select your Jira instance that you want to connect with BirdView. For some companies, it may only be one, um, whereas others might have multiple instances within Jira. So this is where you get the option to select which one you wanna connect. So select that and click install app. The system will install the app towards the end. Um, and then once that's complete, it is going to give you another box that says, get it now. So click on get it now. Once the installation is complete, you will see a dialog box here that shows success. 
if the installation is incomplete, uh, you will get a notification as well. Um, in this case, um, it is pretty straightforward, pretty easy to connect. Um, and it will say that uh, Bird VPSA resource management project finances was added. So once that's done, uh, it takes you back to the main screen here and you will notice that uh, it will say added uh, besides Bird VPSA. And then you also get another icon that says configure. Click on configure, which will give you a second dialog box that will say go to bird view. So click on go to bird view. And then once you have that, um, you can go ahead and enter your organization's bird view URL. Notice the only portion that you need to enter is the first part of it. So in this case, as an example, uh, for this for the purposes of this demo, we have an integrations demo URL. Uh, .go.easyprojects.net is always going to be the same. So you enter your uh, company's instance and click continue. Once that's done, uh, your bird view is connected with uh, Jira. So this is what it's going to look like. So here you will see the green icon that says connected right besides Jira. And in order to um, configure um, your projects and bring in your projects from Jira into BirdView, uh, you're going to click Edit or Configure uh, if you're a first-time user. So first-time user will be Configure, second time will be an Edit. So we're going to click here. In the top section, you have the ability to select projects. So you can click on Select Projects and you have the list of all the projects that are in your system uh, that can be imported into BirdView. So we're gonna take success demo, success team demo project in this case. Um, and under users, you will be asked to enter a job role as well as access level. This is very typical. Um, if you have multiple users that are being assigned to a project, that's okay too. You can simply select one of the job roles from the drop down menu, one of the access levels from the drop down menu, and you can click save. Notice that this access level and job role can be changed at the project level once the project is imported. So we're going to click save. So, how do you access projects? So there's two ways in which you can uh, access the projects that's been imported. Either you can click on edit and select the project name here itself, and it's going to open a new screen and take you directly to the WordView project, right? So you can see the details. Uh, let's click out of here and notice we've got a project. We have all the tasks that are assigned to this project. Uh, estimated hours, and assignees. Uh, notice that QB demo and de uh, demo Jira integration does not have any estimated hours. So if you have not indicated the number of hours that um, each task is going to take in Jira, the system will not bring that information in. It is going to leave that blank. So that is good because that way, um, you know, the import is not going to fail. It will still continue and bring in all the information that you have provided um, and leave the ones that are not provided blank. The other thing to notice here is the start and end date. Um, this is this will be a potentially future state for um, the integration. Uh, currently, we are still working on um, configuring the start and end date and how to connect it properly. Um, however, uh, no sweat, like, you know, as long as you know your start and end date, you can simply click and add that information um, in the system here. Um, so that is one way you can see your projects. The other way is you can simply click on the filter and select the, um, the projects that you're bringing in into the system. And uh, the project will appear here. So anytime, as long as your um, Jira is connected with BirdView, anytime any changes made in Jira will be updated 
on the bird view front. So it is fairly a live um, stream of, fairly a live flow of stream of um, uh, information here. So let's talk about uh, QuickBooks integration. So QuickBooks integration is very similar to um, Jira integration in the sense that uh, you can go into integrations, manage apps, and then here you can connect, um, simply click on connect QuickBooks, and it is going to give you a, uh, it's going to give you a uh, login information. So what it's going to do is once you connect, let's go here. Once you click connect to QuickBooks, it is going to show you, uh, do you want to connect or not, right? So um, as a first time user, uh, it will probably ask you for your uh, username and password to make sure uh, the credentials are matching. Once you have done that, uh, you can simply click on connect and say connect, and it's going to um, be live, just like you see here. So what do we use QuickBooks for? Um, as I mentioned before, QuickBooks integration is for exporting time entries from BirdView into QuickBooks. So uh, as an example, uh, here we have here we have a project, uh, success team QuickBooks demo. We have indicated the start date, end date. We have assigned users. We have estimated hours, as well as we have some logged time. Once that's done, um, you can click on time logs history. This is where you can see all the data. And if you go on the right side of the screen, you can see export, click on export. If you haven't connected QuickBooks, you will only see the option as export to CSV. Once your QuickBooks is connected, you can see export to Quicks, QuickBooks as an option as well. Uh, you can export all of the time logs or you can select some time logs out of the list. So it is really um, uh, up to you uh, if you want to uh, export all of them or some of them. Uh, a quick note on a few things that are required before this time logs history um, is exported to QuickBooks. One of the things is if you go into the project, click on the details, you must identify the customer name. This is one of the parameters that the system will look for in order to export um, the time entries into QuickBooks. The other thing is to have um, resources hourly rate. So I will show you uh, what happens if some of the if the resource has an hourly rate versus a resource who doesn't have an hourly rate assigned to them. So we're going to click on time logs history. Uh, we are going to export all of these into QuickBooks and we'll say select, sorry, export and export to QuickBooks. All right. So typically uh, there are six steps, uh, anywhere from four to six steps to export the QuickBooks. The very first is, um, the build time. If uh, a time entry is already marked as build in the in bird view, the system will not let you export them to avoid duplicates. So in this case, if you see these billable tasks associated with, <clears throat> oh, this is a different one, sorry. Um, um, the second one is the no rate amount, which is the first step in here, because uh, we have all of our entries are not built. Um, so that's why we skip that one step. The second step, our first step in this case, is the no rate amount. So notice how it indicates you <clears throat> that Brad Pitt, our um, famous uh, analyst, does not have an hourly rate <clears throat> associated, to, associated to them. So here it says that uh, the rate amount sent to QuickBooks will be zero. Well, we want to fix that. So let's close out of here and go back to company settings. Let's go to users and let's find our 
Brad Pitt, who is an engineer actually. And let's set their hourly rate to 50, billing rate to 100, okay? Now let's go back, time logs history, export, export to QuickBooks. Now you'll see um, that no rate amount step has been skipped. So now we are on step three uh, that says uh, summary. So the summary page shows the number of hours that are being assigned uh, that have been logged by each individual, the duration um, of the project. So if let's say you have multiple projects um, for multiple users and tasks, it is going to segregate that information based on the project itself. And then it will also show you how many hours in total is going to be exported into QuickBooks. So we have confirmed, yes, everything looks good. Let's click continue. So in step, in this step, we are assigning or matching the assignees. So as I mentioned, um, in order to um, access QuickBooks, um, as well as be able to export time loss, you want to make sure that the users are set up in both instances, right? So you want to make sure that you've got bird view uh, instance for this user, as well as um, uh, QuickBooks uh, record as well. So now you can see that Mark, Brad, and Angelina are all there. However, it says BB admin, uh, the match was not found, right? Um, so this is the kind of uh, notification you would get if there's a user that doesn't exist in QuickBooks. So for the sake of, for the purposes of this demo, we are going to pick up Denzel Washington in this case. For your organization, if let's say you don't have a user, um, if it says user not found, you want to go back to QuickBooks, create their record, and redo this process. Let's click on continue. Uh, here is where you're going to match the customer. So we've got Jeff Consulting in Bird View, which is what we selected. And we have found Jeff Consulting in QuickBooks as well. So again, customers must exist on both ends. If let's say it was not going to Jeff Consulting, it was going to somebody else, you can have, you will have the drop down menu to select another company. But for the sake of this uh, demo, we are going to keep Jeff as our customer. So now once we have gone through all these steps, we are going to say, click complete. The system will um, import or export this information into bird view in the back end. Once it's completed, you will see that all selected billable time locks have been successfully exported to QuickBooks and marked as built. So let's say, click OK. And now notice how built was uh, labeled as no. Now it is marked as yes. So this is an indication that the export was successful. Now we want to confirm um, if this is actually the case. So let's go to QuickBooks. And in here, let's click on Jeff Consulting. All right. So here you can see all the six records that we had, um, their billable dollar amount, um, as well as the dates on which this time charge was logged. So now from here, um, as an administrator, um, bookkeeper, um, an accountant, whoever is um, responsible to manage uh, the time entries and like the uh, invoices for expenses and time entries, they can simply click here and convert to the invoice as needed. So this was our quick high level uh, overview of Jira integration for projects and QuickBooks integrations to export the time entries into QuickBooks. Uh, does anyone have any questions?
Okay. Um, I guess no one does. Um, well, uh, thank you again. Um, as I mentioned before, we will be pausing our weekly workshops for the month of um, September. And we will resume our weekly workshops in October. And the topics will be posted in advance. However, if you uh, we are resuming our monthly webinar, uh, which is going to take place on September the 20th, and we will be covering all the new features that we are um, introducing um, in this upcoming quarter and how it will um, impact your project management. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for joining in today's session. I do hope that you found our topic insightful and you are welcome to submit your suggestions or recommendations for any future topics. Um, as you can see on the screen, uh, you can send your requests to success email um, as noted here. And I just want to say thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful week um, ahead.